Indian kids were sold here. Nine-year-old girl was sold to Jacobs. And what would they do with the nine-year-old girl? You know, and it continues today. The, 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 the abuse of our kids has to stop. You know, throughout the United States, throughout Canada, Australia, everywhere. You know, the, the white supremacy movement, the mentality of people that would perpetrate that heinous crime on innocent kids, you know, is, it can't be imagined. But it happened here. It happened in this location. You know, scalps were sold here. The state of California, the county of Humboldt, paid dollars for that. You know, that's what is represented here. And, and unfortunately, to a certain extent, the perpetration continues with this statue. You know, it's in front of us all the time. It's here. It's an indication that, that things haven't stopped. The city council continues to to allow this to continue regardless of their positions in the past of saying, let's remove all racist indications here in this city. You know, they've taken firm stands to oppose racism. But on the other hand, when it's pointed out to them, this is racism. They tend not to do it. Oh, hey, uh, nah. Hey, ha, hey, uh, no. Ehalet, 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 ehalet. Hey, no, hey, uh, nah. Hey, ha, hey, uh, no. Hey, hey. Thank you so much. Thank you, Shook. Thank you, Marva. You know, Marva's chin would have been sold here. You know, and and the brutality just can't be can't be imagined. Um, Um, good evening to everybody. My name is Tia Oros Peters, and I am not the organizer of this event. We are all the organizers of this event. The ancestors are the organizers of this event, and we walk in their footsteps here today. And we've been walking in our footsteps for a long time, as we've been walking here on this plaza, thinking about those who gave their lives so we could be here. Think about those that, that survived so we could be here. Think about those that put songs on the wind so our relatives could hear it. And then again, right? More songs that have been put on the wind so we can hear and hopefully inspiration for all of our peoples. It is not a student issue. We know that, but it is. It is not a elders issue, but it is. It's a community issue. It's an earth issue. It's a human rights issue. It's an anti-racist issue. It is a gender issue. It is a woman's issue. It is a man's issue. It is everybody's issue. It is an indigenous people's issue. It is a matter of undoing the violence that has been on the earth that's been manifested in indigenous people's bodies and lives every single day. And we're going to remove the statue and we're going to remove that plaque. The Weot Nation has taken a very firm stand, like Chris has said. Remove the plaque and remove the statue. This is Weot land. They survived brutalities that no one could even have nightmares about. The peoples here have been resilient, powerful, strong. Our sister Marva with that song that has carried forward from generations and generations and generations. Right now, her great-great-great-great-grandchildren are hearing it. We walk in the prayers of our ancestors every single day.